make noise herb verb is a digital reverb with full voltage control over every single parameter. Like the Echophone, it's coded by Tom Herb of SoundHack, president of the International Computer Music Association. The herb verb is a modeless, non-switched reverb with wide-ranging controls. Typical reverb types like plate, room, hall, ambient, shimmer, and others can be called up by simply twisting the knobs. Because of the continuous control, many in-between hybrid spaces can be found, as well as extreme unreal spaces. Morphing between spaces is as easy as modulating with control voltages or twisting one or more knobs. This video will mostly serve as an overview of the controls on the reverb. The mix is a simple mix between dry and wet. The panel control is a combo knob, becoming an input attenuator when anything is patched to the CD input. Size is an ultra-wide range control over the size of the virtual space. It goes from unrealistically small to unrealistically large, with the full spectrum of realism between. Pre-delay simply controls how long before reflections start coming in. With the tempo input, it can be synced to a division or multiplication of the input clock. The reverb also has a reverse reverb mode. Reverse time is controlled by the same knob as the pre-delay. Reverse can be turned on and off by the push button or by the gate input. Decay changes the length of the reverb tail, all the way up to infinite feedback. Energy can be taken from the verb by the absorb control. The herb verb also contains an extensive modulation section that can be clocked internally or externally. A small amount of internal modulation can create smooth resonances and a larger amount can create chorus, Doppler, ambient, and shimmered sounds. The modulation is embedded in the reverb algorithm and can have a very dramatic effect on the sound of the reverb. It has two sides, cyclic on the left. Which is a multi-phased cascaded chorus effect, ranging from very subtle chorusing to extreme Doppler swirls. The user also has control over the speed of this modulation. On the right side is ergodic modulation, causing random room dimension shifting. At the top of the range on the ergodic side, a shimmer effect is enabled. The tilt control shapes the tone of the reverb, emphasizing high or low frequency content. The size control and the bottom three controls all have CV input attenuverters for fine tuning of the amplitude and phase of incoming control voltage. There's an LFO in the size. All controls have CV inputs. The CV output is the result of an envelope follower, and it goes higher as the wet signal gets louder. This can be very useful for patching back into the system or into the reverb itself. For example, patching it to the absorbed CV input creates an automated reining in of the reverb when feedback starts to get out of hand. Much more dramatic modulations can be achieved by patching the CV output to the size and other controls. The reverb is designed to be much more than an end-of-chain effects unit. 
With tempo syncing, full voltage control, and a dynamic CV output, it's tailored to be fully integrated and converse with the modular system it's a part of. It's a whole new building block for modular synthesis. Stay tuned for herb verb patch example videos. <laughs>